report of a stunning attack on the massive U.S. military installation on the island of Guam. The deadliest strike on a U.S. base since Pearl Harbor. A group calling themselves the Engineers has claimed responsibility. Released an internet video complete with chilling footage from the attack to lay out their demands. They're calling the attacks the Blacklist. The Blacklist. The Blacklist. This is the Blacklist. The Blacklist. One new attack every seven days. We, we have one demand. You have soldiers in 153 countries. Bring your troops home. Your troops home. Your troops home. Now. 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 For every, every week, week, we will, will attack you. We will not negotiate. You will not stop the Blacklist. The Blacklist. You have seven days until the next attack. The, the choice, choice is yours. We, we are, are the engineers. We are the engineers. What's our status? Paladin 1 and the 4th Echelon team are ready, Madam President, but we can't locate Mr. Fisher. His friend is fighting for his life. Find Victor Cost, you'll find Sam. Hundreds dead in Guam, a countdown to more attacks targeting America. The world is looking for answers, Mr. Fisher, and I don't have any. Fourth Echelon needs to find them, and it can't do that without a leader. It's too strong, Vic. One of Vic's men comes with me, no questions asked. You can have Charlie Cole. And Grimm's daughter has recruited one of the CIA's best for mission support, Isaac Briggs. And Grimm is out. She didn't want you on this mission either. Sorry, Sam, that's a non-starter. Nobody works better with you than she does. Welcome to Fourth Echelon, Mr. Fisher. It's pretty sweet, right? First time in a plane? No. How deep are we with this engineer's organization? Nothing yet. Briggs and our contacts are isolating probable candidates. What about the names? American Freedom, American Blood. Potential attacks, each with a timer. We got five days before American consumption? And counting. We're running analytics to find the target locations as we speak. I'll get you up to speed on the plane. Prototype military transport. Loaded with custom modifications. Armory, infirmary, holding cell. Every resource that you'd have on the ground. Fully mobile. It's like the good old days. Problem, Briggs? Just got my subdermal radio put in. Felt like someone used a jackhammer. This puppy makes Air Force One look like a paper airplane, hey, Sam? Do you want to discuss potential upgrades? Later. Walk me through this. News and internet data mining. Predictive analytics, photo and video forensics. Plus backdoors into foreign ELIN systems and facial recognition integration from the CIA, NSA, DCS, FBI. All in real time. This is what you were bragging about? Yes, am I? Strategic mission interface. We've made significant improvements since the early system Charlie worked on. I'll let him get you up to speed. The best thing is, you can control everything from right here or from your opsat when you're on the ground. Impressive. Okay, well, let me know if you need anything. I'm gonna check out my new digs. Thanks, Charlie. Hi, sweetheart. It's me. Dad, hi. How are you? I saw the news in the Blacklist video, and it's... I'm fine. I can't tell you where I am or what I'm doing, but... Of course you can't. But you're okay? And Uncle Vic's okay? Vic... It's part of why I called. Vic got hurt in Guam. Hurt bad. But he's gonna be alright. Tell me he's gonna be alright. 
Well, you know, he's tough. And they're gonna take good care. That's not an answer, Dad. Where is he? Walter Reed, I could be there in an hour. Look, you don't have to do anything. He's on a medvac plane to Landstone. Charlie's keeping tabs on him for me. As soon as you hear something, anything you let me know, okay? You hear me, Dad? Yeah, I will. Right now, I, uh, I gotta go. Of course you do. Just let me know you're alive once in a while, all right? <laughs> I will. I love you, Dad. Love you too, kiddo. Sam, I think Charlie's got some new gear he's working on. Grim? Listen, Sam, we have a lot of work ahead of us. Thought maybe we should clear the air. History is history. That's it? Like you said, we've got a lot of work to do.
Hey, Sam. Briggs, you settled in yet? I'm working on it. I usually get a lot more prep time before I'm wheels up on a mission. CIA is too big to move fast. Operation like this has got to be agile if it's going to work. Understood. Just wish I had a little more planning time. You'll adjust. That's all for now. Looking forward to working with you, sir. Hey, Sam. Almost forgot your op set. New and improved. It's sort of like your SMI light when you're on the ground. Data transmissions, drone controls, scanning. Gotcha. All you gotta do is slave it to the SMI, do a couple of calibrations, and you're good to go. Thanks, Charlie. Report, Briggs. Tell me a little more about it. Sir, it is in my opinion that we're on the verge of another 9-11. Cross-referencing certain flag terms have suggested concentrations of activity in several locations, most notably around Guam. We're also seeing unusual behavior in certain sectors of the weapons market, and I think we should make a move on this, sir. It's interesting work, Agent Briggs. The committee will take it under advisement. With all due respect, sir. That'll be all, Briggs. We can't throw all our resources at every possible hunch. We'll take it under advisement. What do we have in Benghazi? My contact is at a CIA safe house. They've detained a subject with intel on Guam, but no one gets to ask questions until they're done with him. How'd they nab him? They didn't. He just walked in their office. Look, how do we know he isn't some psycho with a sick sense of humor? There's something you're not telling me? Dude's name is Andre Coben. Does that mean anything? Sam. Whoa, wait. We know this guy. What we need to know is what would make a wanted arms dealer turn himself into the CIA right after Guam. All due respect, why don't we just leave the interrogation to the CIA? You can forget the company man bullshit, Briggs. You're on our team now. Understood. Am I missing something? He's our only connection to the engineers. We're not trusting this to someone else. Who is Andre Coben? Andre Coben pretended to kill my daughter to give someone leverage over me. Whoa. How is he even still alive? Good question. What's our move, Sam? Show me the safe house. Really? Now that's a bad neighborhood. I know. Weird, right? Because usually the CIA tries to keep their Middle East ops super obvious. Focus. Your best approach is through the bazaar here. You give the signal, my contact departs the safe house, it'll be a clear run at Coben. It always looks easy on a screen, Graham. To be clear, Sam, we are talking about an extraction, not killing him. You're up. Show me viable positions for Overwatch. Best sight lines are here and there. Looks good. Grab a suppressed sniper kit. Am I providing cover or am I taking out a target, sir? Charlie, rustle us up some transport, would you? Somebody have blends, panel van? Got it. 
You didn't answer my question, Sam. You just worry about a viable spot for Axfil. Something here. Everyone clear? Let's make this prep quick. Flight deck, we are go for Benghazi. Grim says you gotta keep Coben alive, so it's nothing lethal. Recommended gear starts with smoke and flashbangs, not frags.